Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 in white on the right hand side and the Samsung Galaxy S3 in white on the left hand side. Now in this video we're going to be doing a GPS test using the GPS test application from the Play Store. See how fast these devices can lock onto a satellite, how many satellites they can see and so on. What we'll do, load up the application on both, so here we go, 3, 2, 1, go. The signal's flashing on both of them, so they're trying to lock on. The Note 2's already locked on, and the S3's still thinking about it, because that's still amber. So it's accurate to 26 feet on the Note 2, while the S3 is still thinking about it, still trying to lock onto a signal there. Now it's locked on, now it's accurate to 26 feet as well, excellent. So the Note 2 definitely winning that from loading up the GPS to actually locking onto the uh, satellite. Now if you see them both, it gives you the Note 2 is in view of 20 satellites, whereas the S3 is only view of 15. Considering we're outside, you'd think they'd be both very similar. Now they drop down, which is a bit more like it. Note 2 is using 13, the S3 has just gone up to 16. Now these bars that you see along the bottom are the signal to noise ratio figures. So the higher the figure, that means that that's the better the signal basically and that means there's less noise okay so accurate both to 20 feet which is tallying up I should think they both be very similar to be fair because the software is exactly the same on both we'll now move over to the the view of the satellites on both of these there we go and you can see the north being very similar on both of them it's ever so slightly different on the S3 but I'm presuming the sensor might be rotated slightly differently on each device but you can see the Again, it gives you a view of 18 satellites on the S3, whereas 17 on the Note 2. It's using 14 on the Note 2 compared to the S3's 17 now. Again, it gives you the degrees of elevation that we have there. It gives you the first fixed time there, which is how fast it locked onto the first satellite. And as you saw when we booted up, the Note 2 did lock on the fastest compared to the S3, whereas the S3 gives a figure of 21 seconds and the Note 2 gives a figure of 2 seconds as you'd expect with the new hardware on the Note 2. So let's go to the current location view on both these. You'll have to forgive the figures blurred out along the top there because that gives us a longitude and latitude and our degrees of elevation, So, which gives our location away, so those will be blurred out. But you can see on the map they're exactly the same where the dots are located in, in terms of where it thinks we are on Earth. Now we'll move over to our speed on both these. So here we go, both showing a speed of zero, which is correct because we're not moving. Here we go, the heading in terms of degrees, 354 as in a static on the S3. It's fluctuating slightly on the Note 2 to 358. And the altitude in feet is showing as being on the S3, 320 feet compared to 280. Now that's going to be obviously accurate depending on how many satellites it's locked onto. The more satellites it's locked onto, the more accurate it will be because it's got more reference points to refer to. So now moving on to the time. Now this is the times in our current time zone. You can see it gives you the date, the 14th of October 2012. Local date is exactly the same. Sunrise is exactly the same down to the seconds. And the time is virtually the same in seconds as well on both. Again, local time is exactly the same. So is the sunset figure as well. So going back to the main screen, Back of the main screen, it gives you total view satellites again. The S3 showing more satellites ever so slightly and using 17 of them, whereas the Note 2 is showing 17 but only using now that's dropped down to 9. That was so obviously the accuracy goes up because it's got less reference points to refer to. So, in terms of accuracy, the Galaxy S3 seems more accurate um, in terms of holding on to those satellites, which is a bit weird because I thought the, the Note 2 would be more accurate but hey ho the note 2 was definitely faster locking onto the first satellite so which comes in handy when you're out and about especially when you're driving and uh, you want a quick reference point as to where you are you want it to be quick and not sitting there for a couple of minutes while it thinks about loading a signal and that's been a look at the GPS test between the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the Samsung Galaxy S3 any questions or comments that you guys have got Hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.